So in 1910, this building was built and its sole purpose was to measure correct central standard time using the stars. So there's a telescope upstairs. The telescope points directly north-south along the meridian and every night they would measure about 12 stars as they transited across the meridian. When they saw the stars cross, they would make marks and they would check it against their ephemeris and they would record what the exact time the star should have transited and what time it actually transited according to their watches and then they were able to adjust the time from there. The watch company went out of business and they donated the, the observatory to the school district because it was going to cost money to tear it down. In 1960, we got the observatory. We have had over a million students come through these doors to see a planetarium program, to learn about what's up there in the sky, and some of those students have gone on into STEM careers. Um, for example, Hal Gutzelman, who is now retired but was a capsule commander for the International Space Station, lived in Wayne, and he grew up going to the planetarium and he made telescopes in the basement with Mr. Tuttle, the very first teacher in the planetarium. I just remember coming here from the time I was in probably first grade. It was incredibly influential on in my life. <laughs> so um, I'm still an astronomer today, an amateur astronomer today. I came to the observatory the first time when I was about 14, I think, to see the Star Bethlehem program. And I got roped into this place shortly thereafter when I was making a six inch mirror. Mr. Tuttle, who was running the planetarium at the time, helped me, uh, put me on the right road and had all the materials I needed uh, to finish what turned out to be an excellent mirror in the beginning of a lifelong hobby.